Yeah, I'm gonna spit up my gum. Alright. October wet. Where are you from? Uh, I am from, like here, there? Yeah, alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm from Lamars, Iowa. What was your first break? My first break was uh, when I moved to LA. I met uh, Scott Ackerman, who's the host of Comedy Bang Bang, and uh, at an after party, he said, uh, "I want to make you famous," <laughs> which felt good. <laughs> what have you been in? I have been in uh, a film called "I Love You, Beth Cooper," and a movie that uh, alphabetically comes after that called "Inglorious Bastards." And uh, various television programs. <laughs> How do you feel about this career? Uh, I feel excited about this career. I like that. Mm, I'm here talking to you guys. That's pretty cool. <laughs> How did you decide to become an actor? Um, did I decide to become an actor? Or did it decide it for me? Hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm sorry, uh, that was a mock pretentious answer. Uh, no, I, I don't know, I was a goofball when I was uh, in elementary school and I guess it, it stuck. Uh, a desperate, hmm, uh, some sort of desperate need for attention probably had something to do with it. How would you describe your specialty or type? Uh, my type, I guess, um, after a decade of auditions would be dork, nerd, geek, dweeb, in that uh, descending order. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite actor who you look up to? Uh, my favorite actor is, um, uh, Madeline Kahn cracks me up a lot, like watching her. What would your ideal job be? My ideal job would be um, professional sloth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Um, do I consider myself lucky? Uh, I had a dog named Lucky. He died tragically. <laughs> so in a way he was not lucky. So I don't want to be lucky. What advantages do you have? Uh, my advantages are I'm over 5'6". What did you do before? What I did before I moved to LA, uh, the last job I had I was working at uh, Walmart, uh, which is a great company, <laughs> a cool corporation <laughs> that treats their employees Barely. Hmm. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? Uh, I would rather have a diploma than a car because a diploma is the car to life. What do you think about the need for instant gratification? Uh, I think instant gratification is okay. Uh, you know, there's a there's nothing wrong with it. A cookie's better than feeling miserable, right? In the long run, I think. How do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? Uh, I like that the world is interconnected. It's awesome. Uh, the fact that I can um, spend an hour reading about information that the world gathered about RoboCop 2 on Wikipedia. I feel like that's what technology is for. What does the future look like to you? The future looks like, I guess, RoboCop 2. How do you feel about having children? Uh, I think, hmm, I think having children is good in the long run. I think rep reproduction is a, a positive thing. The fact that I call it reproduction is a sign of uh, <laughs> maybe I'm not quite ready for it. <laughs> what challenges do you feel the world is facing today? 
Uh, the challenges the world is facing today would be, um, I feel like, uh, a lack of clever answers. What is your favorite way to communicate? My favorite way of communicating is high fives. What do you think of the creative scene in Los Angeles? Uh, I think Los Angeles has a, a vibrant creative scene. Uh, I'm part of a, a comedy community that uh, I think is really uh, strong and funny and uh, full of goofballs. What is your favorite book, film, and music right now? Um, I would say my favorite, um, what was it, book, movie, and... Music. Music. Um, I guess I like the Beatles, and for movies I like this movie about the Beatles called Backbeat, and favorite book probably is uh, some book about the Beatles. I'm not even a big Beatles fan, I was just trying to think of something that crossed all three areas.